so I have Photoshop open here and I've gone ahead and opened up the carreference.jpg. You should be able to get this through going to open and then in the VA2 references folder that you should get, there should be a little file that says carreference.jpg. So go ahead and open that. So I have my car here and we're just going to be using this as a tracing reference. So what that means is that we want to be able to reference the overall shape of this car, but because we want to stylize it to be a little bit more of a cartoon car, um, we're going to be able to take artistic liberties in that. So in order to do that, we are going to be tracing over it. So we have it open here and we have the background image. So what I just want to do is double check uh, double click this, call it our reference image over here in our layers area. So what I'm going to do is, and this is really important, I'm going to make a new layer. So we never want to go making our shape on top of the, uh, on the reference image layer. So what we're going to do is that we're always going to be above it. What we're going to use is called the pen tool. The pen tool is really handy. It's going to keep your shapes uh, really smooth and really direct and it's really convenient if you do not have access to a tablet. So I've gone ahead and selected it and we're just going to start, we're going to probably cut this into two pieces, the main silhouette of the car. So we're going to start with the bottom. I'm going to start here, I just click, and then in order to get a straight angle, usually I just hold down the shift button to get that straight line. I want these curves as well, so we're going to curve out as well. So you'll see that I'll just start making these curves. If I ever need to reset the curve because it doesn't look as great, like for example this, all I have to do is press the shift option to reset the curve. And this will make it really easy to get those shapes there. Um, right now, the shape is kind of with a green and a blue. It's a little bit random. Um, what we'll do right now is actually just, let's just set it to an easy gray. Have no stroke. So let's go back to here. Then we're just gonna continue outlining it. Um, just going to do the bottom portion. I'm going to just save the top as a, as a separate shape. Do that. And you'll see as, as I'm tracing this car, I'm not tracing it 100% to what the reference is. I'm taking my own artistic liberties in creating this because that's kind of the fun of making a cartoon version of your reference is that you can take those liberties if needed. Um, I'm reducing the opacity right now just because it's getting a little bit hard to see the reference. Shift option just to reset the curve. Gonna finish it. Just trying to keep my, my angles pretty clean here. And then we have the bottom of the shape. Gonna turn the opacity back to 100%. And then what I like to do here is just make it a, a new layer. I'm going to set it as a black background. There we go. Just so we can see how our shapes are looking. Put this down there. So whenever I want to kind of just do a quick check, you can see that we kind of have the nice base of the car. So let's make the top of the car. Like I was mentioning early, we want to take artistic liberties and let's just like really make this like the the top of the car really tall. So we'll still keep the shape, but then let's, instead of keeping to this natural silhouette, let's kind of blow it out a little bit. So I'm gonna make it really tall, because that's what's nice about cartooning, is that you can exaggerate for your own artistic reasons. Oops, let's try and redo that. We'll keep that curve there. Nice curve. Shift option click to reset it. Then we finish. And it's always really important to complete your shapes as well. Just so it can be completed. Okay, cool. So we're starting to kind of see a car silhouette right now. And you'll notice that 
as you are further developing your um, your cartoon, whether it's a car, a car or a person, um, you're going to be able to start kind of looking less at your your reference because of your artistic decisions. You don't need the reference as much. So right now we have the general silhouette, but let's get some tires in as well. In this case, I'm just going to use a lips tool because why make why struggle with the pen tool and make try and make per perfect circles with it um, when you can just use the lips tool. Let's change the color of this a little bit. Okay. So I changed the color and that little pop up. But you can always uh, change the fill up here as well. We're just going to keep it in black and white for now, or grayscale. And what I just did there is I did Command J to duplicate the wheel. So we got two wheels now. So we got we're getting closer to a car. Select all of these, holding down the Shift button, and I'm actually going to make it a folder and just kind of title it My Car. There we go. So we have that. So now we've kind of have our little stylized silhouette of our cartoon car, but let's start going into the details a little bit more. So we're going to hide our current stylized car. Let's first do the car door itself and then also um, the little front area of the car. So what we're going to do there is I'm going to actually lower the opacity a little bit just so I can keep, I can still see my current, my new silhouette of the car, but I can see the reference as well. New layer. Take your pen tool. Because this is the door, we kind of want it to be similar to the silhouette that we are, that we have established so far. Keep it pretty simple. And you know what? I'm just going to go a little bit further from my, my door because it's my car. Then we got our door. Let's just do a dark gray for that. And then let's do it same for the front. We set the curve. There, we got those details down. Cool. And then we'll just, um, what I like to do is I'll work out of my folder, but then once I feel like it's done, I'll just kind of put them back in just so we can keep our layers clean. New file, so I put that outside. Let's do the windows now. Capacity. And in this case, what I think I want to do is I could do this with the pen tool making um, our windows, but then I can also probably just use the nice rounded rectangle tool that's presented here. Let's change it to black. I'm going to just make a nice long window like that. For some reason the color didn't change. There we go. So we got our nice perfect shape here, but we have to adjust it. So we're going to go to um, edit, transform, uh, can do scale. Then you have the ability to change the size of it. Um, so let's make it a little bit smaller. And then a shortcut to do the transform is just to hold down uh, Command T. And what I want to do is I actually want to skew it a little bit so we can complement um, this area. So let's hold down Command, the Shift button, and then we can actually drag it out like that. Let's see, let's straighten it. Cool. 
So let's do that again here for the back window. You can kind of use Photoshop to align it evenly. Go to Command T, X out of that. I'm going to take this top corner and then skew it this way. There we go. All right, press return for that. And then I actually, I kind of want to get this curve in here. So even though um, we have these nice clean shapes here, I'm just going to do a new layer. I'm going to use the pen tool again. You can use P on the keyboard to get a shortcut to it. Just going to get that round. Let's get that roundness to it. Okay. Just use a color picker to make it the same color. Mm. There we go. What I'll just do is that I'm going to merge these two layers, which you can just do Command E. We've merged it together. And then for this, let's also just uh, take the same custom tool right here, this rounded rectangle tool, make a little handle. There we go. Get the darker color. And then even though it's not in the reference, let's drag these into my car. Kind of want to emphasize that there's a, a light. So let's just take a circle. We'll hide it behind. We'll create the, the layer behind the car bottom. Just take a circle. And voila, we got a little car light here. So in the next video, I'm going to show you what you can do to style. Now that we have kind of the basic for our car, the next video is going to be about coloring it. It's time to give some color to our car and to stylize um, the coloring of it. So we're pretty much at a point where we can kind of say goodbye to our reference image. which we don't really don't need anymore because we kind of have just created our own. Um, in terms of looks. But for now, let's just say goodbye to that reference and let's change our background to maybe like a sky blue. So we're going to put a fill there and start giving some color to our car. Oh, and before I forget, let's actually, um, small detail I want to include. It's just the inside of the car. So what I did there is that I did Command J to duplicate the tire. And then I just did Command T in order to transform it to make it smaller. So I can do that again. I'll take this front tire here. I'm going to do Command J. You can also do that by just doing, uh, where is it? Duplicate layer. That's okay. Command T will give you the transform. Just hold down Shift Option. You can size it down. There we go. U to change the color. There. So let's let's start giving some color to this. Let's first merge the car top and car bottom together because it's really just the same now. We just um, made them two different shapes so we can kind of keep that separate when we we're trying to get the silhouette. So let's just retitle the car. Press the U to start getting the fill information. Let's make it a blue. And because this is a cartoon, let's just give it an outline to emphasize a little bit more. We'll do a black outline. And outline in Photoshop, it's called a stroke. And you'll see here, this is the thickness of how thick you can make that line. So let's push it to like five. Let's make it like really cartoony. There we go. So let's just start doing color, filling in the colors. I think I want the hood just to be a little bit darker, just because you know I just wanted to get a little bit stylized. Let's try and be consistent with our with our strokes as well, our outlines. Keep these to all five pixels. There, and we got our our car with our little cartoon outlines. So let's move on to just some, some shading. It's really up to you once again how much you want to go into details, but let's just put a little bit of shadow and a little bit of highlight on our car. 
Um, so in this case, let's really take a quick look at what the reference is, how the light shines on it. So it's a little bit darker at the bottom here, and then there's little highlights at the top. So let's just try and follow it. So the highlight here, highlight here, here. But then also let's make sure that it's a little bit darker at the bottom, like in that reference. All right. So what we're going to do here is we are going to create a new layer. And just so when we're doing our shadowing, we want it to keep on, um, we want to make sure that it's kept within the car itself and it doesn't go out in the background. It doesn't go all over um, places that it shouldn't be. So I made a new layer here. I'm going to say create a clipping mask. And by doing that, what it's going to do is that whatever I paint on this layer, it's only going to be put on this car layer. So let's just take a random color, just for example, this crazy pink, right? Put my brush on. See, as I paint, it will only go within that car. Now, if I didn't have that, it would be all over like this. We don't want that. We want it like this. But because we don't want pink, let's go ahead and delete that by selecting it. Now what we can do here is just let's make it like a darker gray. And you can either keep it as soft as you want. You can make it harder by adjusting your brush size. Depends on the kind of style you want. So I think for me, what I want to do is I'm going to keep it um, more hard with my brush. So that's going to be not as much as an airbrush quality. So what I'm going to do, I'm just going to kind of go around like this. Just kind of do that lower area darker. And then like, we'll create a new layer and do the same thing, make a clipping mask. And then let's do a highlight. So let's select our base color and then just go a little bit lighter. There we go. Let's test it out. Now, it's only going to be really kind of just subtle there. So we've got to make it a little bit more subtle on our part as well, I think. Let's go back. I think in this case, I'm not going to go back to the pen tool. Just kind of highlight here, here. Let's put those highlight specs. Shift Alt to reset my curve. And then do the same here. So there, we kind of got our car with a few simple highlights.